be playing around with the chat GPT, but using a Google Colab as well. So as you would know, chat GPT automatically generate text based on written prompts that you will send. So to do this using a Google Colab, we'll be using a Python wrapper called PyChatGPT, which comes from this very useful repo. So to start with, let's run the installation first and do the import statements. You will find a link to this repo at the description of the, of the video. Next part might be challenging a little bit because you need to get your session token so that you will be able to run the chat GPT. How can you get your session token? You need to log in first, right click and choose inspect, then go to application, storage, cookies, and then you go to this uh, value, copy this value from the secure next session token, and this will be your session token. So in my case, this is my session token. Next, we have we defined a very simple function that will take your message and get the response from the chat GPT. Okay, so now we're ready. We'll be testing the chat GPT with different messages. The first one will be what is deep learning, and then we'll ask chat GPT to write an essay about Newton first law, and then we ask the chat GPT a, a, a question related to psychology, and then we test with Arabic language as well. So let's begin. This is the first question. So I will be fast forward the video because it will take some time to uh, to get actually the response from the chat GPT. Now uh, the response came uh, from the chat GPT. So let's see the answer. What is deep learning? Deep learning is subfield of machine learning, typically implemented using neural networks. So it's, it's correct, I guess. Uh, for the next question, write an essay about Newton's first law. Exact Newton's first law of motion, also known as the law of inertia. So it makes sense as well. It's actually written very good. I'm not sure if something like this can be uh, inspected for plagiarism, maybe. And uh, what is the difference between cognitive uh, physiology and biological? Uh, so I'm not an expert, but it seems uh, working fine as well. And what about the question in Arabic? It seems also working fine. I am not sure if this is accurate or not, but it's it still uh, looks looks good and valid as well. Okay, so this concludes uh, our uh, demo, and I will be posting the within the description the link to this collab. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot.